I know that I'll be, I'll be fine. I know that that's the most powerful uh, medicine out there. In India, they used it for snake poisonous snake bites. You can get bit right. by a cobra. You can get bit by a mamba, black mamba, and you will never have to go to the hospital and get an anti-venom because your urine produces the anti-venom within 15 seconds. It was on the, friend, uh, the show Friends where the, the, the person gets um, stung by a jellyfish and then they ask the other friend to pee on the, on the sting and it goes away. So it's like, it's already out there. It's just that they made fun of it. They, they made it into a joke when it's like, nah, man, this is actual medicine that we have inside our bodies. You know, it's interesting. I met, I met Dr. Group at um, the convention in Florida at uh, the biohacking convention for Dave Asprey. I, I would never have imagined that I walked into this room, which by the way, just so you know, I, I didn't tell you this, we're, we're, we were going to another room and the room was full and we're like, oh, let's go, let's go see this, this other doctor. And I, I, I hadn't known it was you until I saw you. I'm like, oh, I know him. But I walked in there and sat through it and I had no idea that I was going to walk out wanting to drink my piss. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just amazing. Now, I, ha I do have a question. Some people ask here, you know, if they're taking medication, um, will it have some, some counter effects? So I guess my question is, is there any repercussions to drinking your urine? Because, uh, you know, I know about Herzheimer so, reaction and, you know, healing crisis. So I don't know if there, that also is something you got to take into account. Everybody's different. That's a great question. And everybody will react differently because everybody's urine is exactly what their body needs to heal. So it's going, your body knows and what the urine that's going to be coming out is exactly what your body wants to come out. So what happens, this is a general, this is in general, the first 90 days is a cleansing and detoxification period. This is when your body is going through a deep cleansing. Um, urine is like a detergent in a way. It, it goes through and, it, and, it, and it, it's a living substance. It's very highly charged. So it goes in and starts um, grabbing toxins and chemicals and flushing them out of your, out of your system. So 90 days, you know, usually the first two weeks, you might have headaches, you know, Herzheimer reactions, fatigue, skin breakouts, anything can happen during those. But if you stick with it for the first 90 days, most of the time you're going to be fairly clean for the after the first 90 days. The second 90 days is more of like a recovery and repair kind of a cycle. Okay, that's when your body's just, you know, repairing itself a little bit here, recovering a little bit, still maybe a little bit of um, a cleansing going on. And then the last 90 days and beyond is a regenerative phase. That's when your body actually starts to regenerate and regenerate and regenerate. So within a year on average, if you're putting it on your face, like I'm 53 right now and, and, and I've been on You're 53? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, thought, I, I thought you were like most like early 40s. Wow, I'm very surprised right now. You look very good. I'm going to well, start drinking my pee. <laughs> well, well sure. thank you. <laughs> uh, I love it. Not only that, I mean, it's, it's, it's great for everything. Like I've had a history of periodontal disease in my family and you're, you know, swishing it in your mouth will whiten your teeth. And I just went to the dentist and they, they've been telling me for years, my gums are receding and receding. And they said, oh my gosh, what are you doing? This is only in six months. They said, your gums have grown wow. an additional millimeter. She goes, we've never seen that happen before. What are you doing? And I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to get into that conversation right now. I'm just eating <laughs> you gotta healthy, pick and choose. taking some vitamins <laughs> or whatever. But um, I've got just had some – I've only been on it full time. I'm drinking about, um, about a half a gallon a day. And I'm massaging it on my skin. And I've only been doing that for about 100 days. I've just finished my first 90 days, period. Although off and on, I've done it for 25 years, but not serious, not serious, 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 where it's every single day, like, you know, pretty much every time I go to the bathroom. And so, um, Looping, so I, right? I, sprained, I sprained and broke my ankle actually a few weeks ago. I was playing tennis. I never went in, but I, my ankle twisted completely over and I heard it break and crack and everything and it swelled up and I literally soaked it. There was a remedy where you can wrap it and soak an injury in, in, in cotton towels or gauze. And I did that. And within three days, I was walking again on my ankle. And it was at easily a six to 12 week injury. Probably maybe I needed to go get pins in it. Who knows? 
the pain went away within hours of doing that. And, and in within two weeks, I had a full recovery in my ankle. I tweaked my back one time in the last nine days. I was hurting. I rubbed urine in it within 30 minutes. My pain was completely gone and never came back again. So I must, I mean, I've had some, some miraculous things happen with me just in the last hundred days. But here's the thing. In India, they even recommend drinking your own urine while people are going through chemotherapy. Now, in all the books, and with, what most people will recommend is to not do urine therapy when you're on medications. Mm-hmm. And I would say that, you know, I would probably say the same thing. You want to get off your medications, but you don't want to cold turkey that. So take your time, and what, what people can do is they can put a couple drops under their tongue. Your urine also works as a homeopathic. You can actually make homeopathics out of it. So maybe just a dropper full under your tongue, hold it in there for a minute. You can swallow a little bit, but ultimately you want to start slowly. It's called time contingent detoxification. You want to start slowly weaning yourself off your medications and work with somebody that can help you out um, during that phase. 